BS, it wasn't even going. Okay, so she's on the easy walk, right? So what happens is it starts pulling across this ch their chest like that. So if you keep walking, what it's doing is it's pulling on their shoulder, right? So what you have to do is every time they start pulling, you have to stop. Good boy. And he is taking his food, which is good. Right. So you either have to stop him when he starts pulling, you have to turn around, which is the same thing as if you're walking on his collar to teach him to walk with you, right? So the direction changes. Good boy. Alright, so see, every time he starts, you gotta stop. That's a good boy. And if he's got the pressure on there, you gotta call him back. So he turns the pressure off. Alright, that's the same thing as on his collar. So now I'm gonna show you the other problem that people always do. Let's see. Let's see, come. Why don't you come right up here? Right? And so now here, come this way. Oh, that's a good boy. Right? That's a good boy. So his collar, look, I can get my whole hand in there. It's a nice collar. Right? You want two fingers in that collar. I was going to put him on a martingale, because that's what we use at the rescue. Right? So two fingers and snug. This is a nice collar, though. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit tight. That's what I don't like about these ones. They stay better. But if it's if it's slightly off, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So now, now I have two fingers and it's somewhat snug, right? He's a good boy. Here you go. Look. This just for me being a pest. Right. What's that thing for? Oh, that's the thing for his tag. So here's the other one. Everybody likes these big old huge leashes. Right. He's got all this metal stuff too. So the easy watch all, all the metal stuff's hitting on his on his little shoulder. Right. Now they're tough. They can take it. It's not that big of a deal. But it got my ankle and that hurt. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're a sweet guy, aren't you? You're a sweet guy, aren't you? You ready? You ready, buddy? That's a good boy. Ready? So, now, now you have your leash length, right? Wherever you want them, that's, that's the leash you've got to have. If you, if you want to walk them like this, you can do that, but he's going to be more likely to pull. It's, in my opinion, it's always better to have him walk with you, which I prefer because there's a bonding aspect to it, as opposed to when they're way out there. They're getting their exercise, but there's no, there's no bonding. There's no nothing with you when they're way out there. When they're with you, then there's bonding there, right? So, so I, I like to tell people, if you want to walk them like this, get them to walk with you first. So that way they understand not to pull. Then it's going to be easier to fix it if they try to pull when they're way out. Does that make sense? And as soon as he causes pressure on the collar... He tries to go too fast. That, that's the inside turn. That really gets him, right? This way, buddy. Good boy. Over here. Over here. No, you don't want to take it. This way. All right. As soon as he gets pressure. Oh, that's another thing I do. Kind of get him out. I'll walk and then I'll stop. I'll let him cause pressure. Okay, go. And then he's creating pressure. And he's learning to turn it off so that it helps with the pooling, right? All right, so right here, you pull it. You can stop and be a three. If you use your other hand, it's better. I was working on this today using my left hand. It's not my habit, though. So you hold the leash in your right hand. Good boy. You reward in place. I need to change the food over. Right? Good way, buddy. Good boy. Right, one. 
This way, buddy. Good. <laughs> you don't want to take? This way. What is it? Hold up. I'm going to go through this crazy lady.